everybody, welcome back to another episode of 7 Days to Die to Return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, just the last episode, we went ahead and we survived the looming Day 28 Horde. Now, with that out of the way, it is time for us to triumph, and what about to triumph, then to go ahead, collect some valuables that we could hopefully sell for a couple of bucks here, I think over in one of these chests, we actually put away quite a little bit of some valuables that we, oh ho ho, are going to go ahead and make a nice little buck selling not gonna be selling any glue or anything like that but let's get to picking because we got some low-key very valuable stuff that i am very excited to go and make a nice buck off of over at the trader in addition to that there is a marvelous a marvelous thing over here to the south known as treasure of the buried variety so we are going to be getting that as well and long story short things are looking millhouse for the money making schemes that we are making or something like that uh we still do need to get a couple more of these things up in our inventory for selling purposes do we have a beaker already i'm not sure do we even need a beaker i don't think so. uh, uh can we make an i mean we can make antibiotics here I don't think we need a beaker anymore. So yeah, we could sell all these beakers we have here. These things, look at how ridiculous this is. 2,400 buckaroos. Y'all already know we're gonna try to sell that. and make a quick little buck. Goodbye to the cooking pot. Uh, let's get the duster. We can probably sell that, oh my God, for $1,000. As you guys can tell, we just have a bunch of ridiculously expensive stuff for some reason. And it's kind of amazing because we're kind of about to go and make kind of a lot of money, which I like, which I'm looking forward to. We can go ahead and put a couple of these less valuables away, though, just because of inventory room and that type of stuff. And actually, we'll go ahead and mm, I would love to bring the 44 Magnum with us. And I even saw some of you guys say in the comment section, Star, why don't you bring it with you as much as you do? We don't have a lot of ammo for this thing. If, if and when we do get to craft them some more, though. 100% of that puppy is going to be coming out to play a little bit more. My screen is also turning black a lot because my freaking monitor is broken or like my video cable is. So, uh, yeah, sorry if sometimes it seems like I'm not doing anything. That's me waiting for my monitor to come back and be like, hey, thanks for deciding to join us, monitor. Appreciate your assistance there. Uh, but what is, we can probably put the brass away as well. We don't need the 9mm. All that we need is the shotgun rain for the sake of taking as little as we can with us. And uh, we can also go ahead and, whatchamacall, probably fill up uh, fill up our mini bike with some stuff too. But uh, with that said, I believe this is a pretty solid haul in terms of things I wanted to sell. One last thing that I 129.7% want to grab is a little bit of gas because we do have a solid drive. We're going to be visiting some traders. We do have to harvest as well, so... Uh, if we get back, we'll go ahead and do that. But you guys know right now we got some bigger, bigger ticket items than collecting a little bit of crops. All right. Hello, dog. How do you do? Uh, please stay away. I don't want to have to shoot you. Where is my mini bike? There you are. All right. I think I have to come and shoot you. Uh, sorry, Mr. Puppy Dog, but boop. All right. He's dead. <laughs> hey, we got a challenge completed too. The dog days are over. AKA we just got some perk points we can put to use. Boys and girls, today is going to be a great day. I can already tell. Hopefully you guys are having even better of a day, but uh, for real, I didn't see a lot of responses to this comment in the comment section of the last one, so 100%. Let me know in the comment section what your guys' thoughts are on me on speeding up the days. Potentially, right now, we have 50-minute days. What would your thoughts be on us turning them into, like, maybe 30-minute, 40-minute days so hopefully the hordes can happen more often because uh, we definitely, like, we're, we're establishing ourselves pretty well, and I wouldn't mind having to face the horde a little bit more off, and I feel like that could be pretty cool, having to encounter them more than we currently do. So uh, definitely let me know that in that comment section down below. And while you're at it, hey, might as well hit that uh, like button. You're already like looking below the video. Am I right or am I right? But uh, with that said, we have arrived over here. We're gonna go ahead and haggle with this guy, try to make a solid little buck over at Trader Joel's. Uh, but uh, you know you know what else you guys should probably do? Also in the pinned comment, I'm gonna have a link over to my Instagram where I'm trying to post a little bit more. I got a really cool last day on earth post coming up that, think, that I think you guys are gonna like. Just trying to post more IRL stuff and we're almost at 5k followers there and I think I'm gonna be doing a giveaway there pretty soon as well. So just want to give you a quick heads up well, on that. What's up? Yeah, no actually. Oh, bad guess, buddy. <laughs> I need to make some fat stacks off your dumb butt because why, why 
are you not interested in an AK schematic? What is wrong with you, boy? At least he's interested in all this stuff. Ton of money to be made off the oil. Ton of money to be made off the cash. Oh my god, the money is just flowing and flowing and flowing and flowing in. And he's not interested in any more suits or any more running shoes. Bro, what's wrong with you, man? Why don't you want the running shoes? All right, well, hopefully we can come across another trader that will take a couple of these items. I don't know why he's not interested in the schematic. That's really weird. But uh, nonetheless, Cha things are looking good there. Yeah, no problem, man. Ooh, actually, today's a day 29, isn't it? Didn't his stock respawn? We do have $15,000 reduced worth of stuff. Why don't we go ahead and I'll check that you. out really quickly? Cross me. You'll meet no the worries, dude. I'm not going to cross you. And I think if anything, you'd be the one who die. Because have you seen me murder hundreds of zombies? What have you What have you done? Built a wall to keep the zombies out? Who's really the intimidating one here? Doesn't look like he really has anything for us, though. Here so, you. uh, Nerf. goodbye. Don't, no, I... I'm getting on your nerves. You've been on my nerves for the longest time, my dude. Nothing but negativity coming out of you. But I did also want to let you guys know about the Star Snipe merch that we did just launch over at www.starsnipemerch.com. Link to that will probably be in the pinned comment as well. Uh, we're going to be making our way over to the treasure chest right now. But I did actually launch a brand new design that uh, I did go ahead and make myself. I actually designed it myself. And I really like it because it's kind of, you know, it's not like you need to know the channel for it to look cool or for it to be cool. It's kind of like this ribbon across a sweatshirt or, or like a shirt or whatever. It's just like a ribbon. Oh my God, vultures. It's like a ribbon type of design that uh, has star printed into it. So like if you see it out in the wild, you'd be like, yo, he watches star. But if not, it's this dope shirt that you can flaunt around and be like, yo, guess what, boys? I'm a freaking star, you know, because all of us are stars in our, our very own special little ways. I just, everyone just happens to call me star, you know, coinky dinky enough. But uh, I just thought it was kind of like a cool little double whammy in that sense, and it's pretty cool. And I actually have one myself. Pretty comfy AF. Wear it probably like every other day, somewhere around there. Even if I'm not like wearing it out in the wild. Crikey, in the wild of the, the, the world and uh, real life and stuff like that. Bloody hell, you already know. You already know it's comfy enough for me to just loaf about in as well. All right, here's the problem. We got this treasure chest that we got to find. Treasure chest and treasure questing is always a struggle. So there will be a little bit of a struggle involved today. Somewhere below here lies our freaking cacti, but uh, lies that which we seek. So we're gonna have to get to looking for that. Maybe we do have like 19 points. I kind of let's get a level in the treasure hunter perk to make our lives a little bit easier. Cause look at how small the radius for this thing gets now. Like that's that's not as big of an area to loot as we've had to loot before. So that's gonna be really nice. So what we're gonna wanna do here is get the gas barrel and go ahead and crap that. And uh, we'll go ahead and turn that into gas oh, for the mini bike, but also for ourselves. And uh, ooh, I should've brought the second treasure map. So we could've went straight on that second treasure hunt. Eh, I, think, I think it's a good excuse to head back home, maybe sell the goods, you know, maybe see if there's anything good to buy. Uh, I don't think there's a trader really anytime near here though, besides that one. And uh maybe i don't think that's a trade i think that's a military base not 100 sure but uh with actually some fuel to spare it's time to get to digging luckily enough digging with an auger easy peasy so if this is here we're gonna be able to come across this a lot faster than we otherwise would have because we are just gonna be able to mow through this place look at that we already have i think this is the conga line of area we gotta loot through a little bit okay we gotta look a little bit this way too as soon as it becomes available and i think usually treasure is found around two blocks under the surface so that's around how much we're going to be looking at a freaking treasure boys this is the closest i've ever found oh my god oh my god i like what i see oh and that's an ak worth six thousand dollars that's some ammo we're keeping for ourselves and that is buried treasure number one already in our inventory so uh treasure hunting perk definitely a fan of that puppy but uh yeah did just want to let you guys know about the merch because that is an awesome way of supporting me as well along with like getting cool stuff for yourselves and 
I don't know. I just think it's really cool. And uh, if we do get enough merch pop and enough merch sell, and hopefully I can convince the guy that I'm cooperating with to make all this happen, to uh, get some more designs up on the channel and maybe even like get some polls, get you guys to vote for which designs you like the most. I'd love to incorporate you into that. And uh, I don't know. This is something really awesome that I've really wanted to do for like such the longest time. And I'm, I'm really trying to like push it a solid amount. That's another great reason for the Instagram too gonna be doing some uh whatchamacall some posts over there on the new merch and some really cool other stuff that i got in the works i don't want to spoil it but instagram's gonna be cool it's gonna be popping anyways with all that said with all that done why was there that weird source of light coming from there first and foremost and two why was i so stupid and why did i forget this freaking thing that's all right though maybe we'll redeem it maybe it'll be over up north which will be nice because then we can go and visit another trader so that's kind of what today's gonna be a good amount of digging up the gold making some money 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 and hopefully copping ourselves some nice things as well uh if we do have extra time which we probably will all things considered uh we'll also go ahead and do one other Ooh, peaky 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 i think i have to kill one of these guys so hello mr boy Oh no, I, I already killed the boar that we had. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus! Oh, oh, where did you come from, freaking Spider Man? All right, all right, buddy, I see you. All right, dude, you gotta die, man. I am shotgun raining your freaking face. God, I wish I had a shotgun rain shirt on right now. What are you doing? You're just chilling on your knees there. Oh, yeah. That didn't work. Oh, yeah. No, I, I gotta, like, bring down the ham. I'm infected! God dang it. I am taking out my anger. On this infected survivor with some jumping things. Jesus, did that dog infect us, man? Are you for cereal right now? God, I could go for some cereal. I forgot to buy milk. I have cereal at my disposal, but no milk. And I'm not like SpongeBob, you know. I don't eat nails without any milk. All right, I, I need that milk. I need some milk, boy. <laughs> Oh, whatever. Hopefully we do have these antibiotics. I, I want to say that we do, but mm, mm, I, I don't know because I don't usually pay attention to antibiotics. Dude, I can't wait for Alpha 17 to come to this game, though. Holy hell. Some of the things they've been teasing, it's just I, I need it in my life, and I can't wait to show it off to you guys. And probably when that does launch, we will be playing a lot more often on top of that, too. You know, ooh, no, that's just a challenge. Ah, well, you know, we could redo that because we did just finish it. But uh, I am probably going to be playing a lot more, too. Probably, like, every other day, maybe even daily for a while, depending on how it goes. Because I am just so freaking hyped for some of the things that update's going to bring. It's going to overhaul the game. It's going to be the biggest update to date. Even though, so far in seven days, every update's been the biggest update to date. But that's because they just keep on bringing bigger and bigger things. It's crazy, man. Uh, so what else did I want to put away? I think I was just trying to organize things as we got, yeah, got some gas barrels there. Bless up, baby. We got the antibiotics keeping us nice and healthy. Definitely needed that. And other than that, I don't really need to grab anything else. Just got to find where the treasure is. Because I know for a fact that we had some treasure chilling in one of these things. We definitely had a second treasure. Where did I put this dang thing, man? I seriously, I feel like I'm, I, I feel like I put it here. Yeah, there we go. I knew I, I, I was like, wait a minute. This is like my chest with like the most valuable things. That would make sense. So let's go ahead and read that puppy. And uh, dear friend, yada yada, I just want your treasure. And that treasure is going to be out and over to the northeast, which means we have a perfect excuse to visit the trader up north and per snaps even head on over to that trader as well. Maybe even do a little bit of looting along the way. Actually, if we go over there, we have a great excuse to, uh, I think there should be some solid things to loot there in terms of, like, just a whole line of, like, hardware stores. That could bring us some good loot that we could then also sell for a solid buck. Mine plants, I will harvest you one day, but not today. Today is a day of adventure, of gold hoarding, and a whole ton of fun, because who the hell doesn't love a whole ton of fun also people have been saying that apparently it's the night vision goggles that are making me overheat uh uh no they they really aren't no my my dude's still out here having uh heat stroke it's still going up night vision goggles definitely don't matter but i don't know i think that is just a glitch that sometimes happens let me just make sure all good we still got our things to sell hopefully the second trader we go over to We'll be willing to accept a couple of things I have. Also, probably will buy some food from him. 
just because I kind of forgot, but it's all right. Food isn't that expensive. It's like a hundred bucks. <laughs> that just sounds weird to say out loud, man. If food was a hundred bucks IRL, as much as I love food, man, I would not be eating it as much. <laughs> like honestly, skip a meal. Well, there you go. There's like your internet for the for the month. <laughs> like I'd be a lot more conservative with how I eat my yummy yummies. Anyways, so pit stop number one is gonna be over by this dude. Oh, freaking little cacti over there. But uh, what you call? Pit stop number one is gonna be over by here. I kind of want to go to the military bunker too in this town. Maybe we'll do that another day. I don't know because I don't like is there we could go out and explore more of the map but like we found a pretty nice little niche here we've explored pretty far in some directions like uh, we haven't gone super far north we've got an okay amount west we've gone pretty deep south pretty deep and I guess we haven't gone super far east because this is kind of like the center of our civilization what's that noise and that's my stomach. I thought it was like a bombing run coming in. Jesus. <laughs> no, just a bombing run on my tummy. Hello, J actually, no, no, no. I want some food first, because you're just going to insult me anyway. Uh, what do we have here? Chicken soup and cans of miso. Uh, not great food. Maybe, maybe he'll have some good food on him. I don't know. I probably should have just got some food for myself. Hello, Jim. No problem, dude. I got an AK for you. Ha <laughs> He's a fan of that. And we hit level 81 for some extra skill points to boot. Uh, does he have any food? He's got a can of pasta for 192 bucks. I gotta go get some soup for like 80. You are a scam artist. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, anything? Ooh, that's a nice solar cell that we can't afford. Yet, oh, well, we'll be able to afford that very, very soon, especially because he's actually buying the rest of our stuff. Bless up, baby. That's what I like to see. Uh, do you like sand? Go, go ahead. I got some sand for you from my digging days. Got some gold nuggets as well. They could profit from, and things are looking good. And I think that's solar cell. Mm. I'm tempted by it. But at the same time, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. That's a pretty nice solar cell. That is going to be a great upgrade for our current solar cell system. Um, out of everything else that he has here, though, nothing else interests me too much. I think we're pretty good. So uh, thank you kindly. No problem, dude. No door hitting my booty on the way out. Uh, however, I cannot wait, though, to hit this booty. You know, this buried booty of the kind. Arr, Gladys! Me booty lie under the ground a couple layers. And we'll go ahead and find it there. Har har. This just makes me want to play Sea of Thieves for some reason. Didn't Sea of Thieves come out already? Dude, I totally forgot. I also totally forgot to get food. Well then. Uh, per schnapps. I'll find some food out in the wild. Because I kind of need food. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. I don't think this treasure is going to have any food for us. We might go hungry a bit. Mm. I really don't want to go hungry, though. That could end up disastrous for us because we could start kind of chipping away at our wellness. We've been working super hard to get up. And uh, what the hell? Have we already started digging here? What, what is what is this over here? This random little area? I don't know. All right. Anyways, we got to get to digging. And the auger just makes treasure hunting easy peasy mode. Although this dirt is not breaking as quickly, it should still be pretty quick to do with this. So let's get to digging and let's hope, boys and girls, that this treasure chest doesn't lie too deep with too much work to do. Because treasure chests, if you're unlucky, can be ridiculously annoying to get your grubby little paws on. And you already know my paws are the grubbiest paws out there. <laughs> Nope, nothing yet. We have cleared out a solid little hole. Why don't we go to the edge, though, and uh, start digging from the edge just so we know where to start from, where to take things from, and hopefully we'll find it along the way. No, I thought the way that that dirt broke maybe it was signaling uh, something. No, no, no signals here. Not even turn signals. It's a very dangerous land, I know. <laughs> uh... Yeah, it looks like we're going to get over to the main area we started digging in and still have not found the treasure chest. That's okay. We're also getting a ton of dirt in case you like dirt. Uh, but uh, technically speaking, it could be here too. I doubt it's going to be right on the edge, but still, okay. So we've kind of like dug across that way. Let's see how far it goes over here. 
There we go. We can kind of dig down a little bit and then we'll start digging towards the center. This dirt right here is freaking me out. I don't think dirt works like that, my friend. <laughs> and uh, let's dig our way over into the main area here. And how much further can we go this way? Not that far, honestly. Dude, like, this area we've dug out should... It should be somewhere in here. In all honesty. Hmm. I do wonder. That doesn't... Oh! Why, hello, treasure chest. I, uh... I didn't see it down there. <laughs> how you doing? What you got? Oh! $3,000 worth of pistol ammo. A rocket launcher stock, $7,000. It is a safer rifle barrel. Thank you kindly there, good sir. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go visit that other trader. Where's my mini bike? This thing always just camouflages over here, man. Other times, it's out here doing like inappropriate things with freaking cacti. It's, it's, a, it's a weird business being a, a mini bike owner, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But uh, let's get our booties across this bridge and see what lie on the other side in the form of that trader right over there. See if he has anything good to offer us and also buy some food and water as soon as possible. Actually, okay, here's the thing. We can go ahead and sip on some water real quick. Um, you're done sipping there. And oh my god, airtime. Whoop. <laughs> I freaking love that bounce that happens sometimes, man. It is satisfying and amazing. Uh, but maybe... Hold on. Uh blueberry bushes i forget what the blueberry bushes look like but i'm pretty sure there are bushes out here in the wild of the snow uh is this it maybe is this is this oh snowberries oh thank you snowberry now devour it give me oh do we got like three fullness out of that bless we are gonna be cutting it close it's gonna be a little bit tough but hey hey we're making it work baby we're making it work sunny jim bob sunny jim bob uh, but uh, with this bridge, as long as we don't accidentally sink our mini bike, things are looking quite middle house as well. Okay, here's the thing, really quick. You guys know the battery that we have in here? The charge on the battery never goes down. Does just does driving around actually charge your battery? Is that a thing? Or is it like supposed to go down? Uh, dude, if it charges the battery, that'd be some crazy stuff. We could kind of work as like a mobile solar cell. A charge in the stuff. Uh, now, maybe this guy will have some good stuff in his secret stash or whatnot. See, also, though, the problem is... Mm, this is kind of going to be a big problem, too. Where's the entrance? Isn't it on this side? Uh, we don't have the money for another solar cell. Uh, we could get a cheap kind of poopy solar cell. But that is about it. Uh, any, any good food here? Miso and soup. All right, I'll buy myself a little bit, a little bit of chicken noodle. Just to kind of tide myself over so we can get our booties back at home for some proper food eating. Or uh, maybe this guy will have some, you know, meat stew or something that will give us some wellness on sale. I wouldn't mind that. Jimmy. Oh, I keep pressing F to try to talk uh, to him for I some reason. No problem, dude. You have a cooler and an air conditioner. Jesus Christ. This thing, this guy sells the randomest things in existence. Uh, it looks like he has a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff in a secret stash, too. Hot dog. Oh, it's exactly three pages worth. Nothing that, uh, unfortunately, nothing that interesting, though. Could sell. I don't know if I want to sell that, actually. That could be valuable. The rocket launcher stock, sure thing. No interest in that. But, uh, this sniper rifle barrel might actually be very valuable moving forward, because I don't know if the barrel we currently have is better. If it isn't, I'll sell this, make a quick buck, no worries. But if not, that could be a very nice upgrade. And worst case, could even use it to repair our current sniper rifle barrel. But uh, with all that said, let's see really quick. Do you have any food? Nothing too great. Dang. Hot diggity dang. Nothing too good. Unfortunately, just have some first aid kits and stuff. So that's all uh, uh, good. Huh? Well, no, maybe. don't need Shamway? Dude, the only shamways I've found are, like, abandoned. And they do have free stuff, so you should, 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 you should shut it. There, Jimmy. How's about that? But uh, I think that we are going to head on over here. And I we haven't been here in a hot, hot minute. So, honestly, all a thingy my considered. I think this is the road that we got to follow. Yeah, we got to go up north. 
And this little town right here should have some solid presence awaiting us that I am very excited to check out. But uh, that is something that we'll be checking out over in the next episode of Seven Days to Die. Sorry that this one does need to be a little bit on the shorter side, but I gotta go and panic do some homework that is due uh, way sooner than I prepared for. So, uh, yeah, that is gonna go ahead and start wrapping up for this episode of Seven Days to Die. You guys can see we have a nice conga line of stores and a nice little town for us to loot up as soon as we come back in the next episode. And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. And anything else that you guys would love to see me do, go and let me know in that comment section down below to boot. But uh, that's gonna do it for me for now. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Have yourselves a favorite, fantastic day. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.